The city of Louisville has so much to offer from great food, great entertainment, and one of the city's newest attractions is the Waterfront Botanical Garden. I'm joined right now with Casey Mayers, who's going to tell us a little bit more about this space. So tell me, how did this come about? It's actually been a project in the making for several decades, but most of the progress has been over the last nine, 10 years. Uh, we are sitting on or standing on top of an old landfill. This was the Ohio Street landfill. It was the Ohio Street neighborhood before that. So we're putting a beautiful botanical garden on top of a landfill. It is a project that's supported by the community, mostly community funding, uh, some state funding also. And uh, we're in progress. So we've only developed about five acres of the 23 acre uh, total, but we are open to the community and as you can see lots of beautiful flowers coming up this spring uh, Wednesday through Sunday and free admission. Yes, and it smells good too So I know that we saw some kiddos walking by do you all also do I guess field trips and people are able to visit? Yes, so uh, and, uh, like I mentioned Wednesday through Sunday free and open to the public bring the kids We do field trips school field trips all the time What you just saw come across behind us was the spring break spring break camp we do lots of summer camps, um, lots of youth programming, and lots of adult programming. Uh, over 75 adult programs throughout the year. Classes, everything from flower arranging to learning how to do a garden, uh, cooking classes, art classes, etc. Uh, we have lots of events here that are open to the public. We have a music series that starts in May. We have our Gardens of Glimmer in December. We have our Regeneration Fair and Environmental Fair in September. And then the building itself is for rent. Uh, so people come from the community all the time for, for different kinds of events. So we're getting lots of exposure and excited to have the, the community join us. I know that you all have one coming up next week. So tell me a little bit about that. So we're having our first annual Fascinator Fair. So it's our first Derby event, Thursday, April 14th. Uh, it's a luncheon and a style show with the beautiful Fascinators. Uh, lunch is by Wiltshire Pantry. Shannon Cogan's going to be our MC. Uh, it'll be a fun day. And like I say, it's our first Derby event. So we're pretty excited to, to get everybody involved for Derby and get excited. That's amazing. So I know we're also joined by the decorator um, herself. She actually designed all of these. Tell me a little bit about what makes these so special. What makes them a little bit different is that they're all real flowers. They're all, I don't, I, artificial is, is beautiful and there's some gorgeous flowers out there, but I like using real flowers and people to know that you can take a real flower, you can pluck it out and stick it on a ring or put it on a hat or do a fascinator or whatever. I love that. And I know we, all of us have some of them on and you have another I, that you want to show us. Tell us I about have, these. Yes. So this one I got a little bit crazy with and it's got a little pinwheel. So when the ladies are, if it's a little windy for Derby Day, it will spin in the air. And then we also do some, and I also like, I like to decorate mine front and back, so you can see yourself coming and going if you want to. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, so it's the back of mine. Yes, and then let me show you guys. I got the clip, so mine's a little bit different, but it fits perfectly in my hair. Yes. So tell me more. Um, how much time does it take? making these. I know it's a little different working with live flowers. It is a little bit different because each individual flower needs to be secured on by hand. Um, but we're going to have probably 50 of them for the brunch on April 14th and they'll, we'll have some for sale. We'll have models that are going to be displaying them and of course the great food. But it's going to we'll have plenty to show and offer and, and people can call me and I can design something for them. Thank you so much for being with me, ladies. So today is the last day to get tickets to this event. And to do that, just head over to the website, waterfrontgardens.org.